What's up, you guys? <clears throat> my name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs. Cap through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. My fat boy's living his best kitty life. Y'all see him? So we just doing it. I got another channeling. <clears throat> it's 10.35 a.m. 3.26.23. It's a really great one. Y'all know I was picking up on some very greedy, negative energy, Libra masculine YouTube exec and something about a child about to get kidnapped, which is very sad. But this is good energy is what I'm trying to say. And the one today was good energy too. So better energy. Just saying, just saying. Thanks for all my new subscribers. You guys are thebond.com. Love each and every one of you guys. Um, and several new subscribers recently. So thanks for all the love and support. Um, for my A1 Day ones and my new subscribers, um, i pretty positive I shadow banned on YouTube, just let y'all know. Because I've been on here over three years and I'm only tutoring 17,000 subscribers. So saying all that, every single share of my content on social media all platforms, all the word of mouth sharing of my channel, it really helps it get around and grow, like power the people energy in a positive way because it's obvious YouTube's not going to naturally let it grow through the analytics. So I do appreciate all the love and support from my peeps um, because y'all are helping my channel grow. Um, just saying, just saying. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So let's get into this. Um, as always, the only thing the messages resonate. Okay. So, the channeling I received was, someone knows you're an inspiration. So, they know you're an inspiration already, but I heard they don't want you to be an inspiration. But, someone else knows you're an inspiration, and they want you to be an inspiration. So, we have two energies. And through many series of chain events, you're about to become a huge-ass inspiration. I heard you already inspire many, many, many walks of life. And I heard specifically walks of life. So, many people, basically. Um, but soon you're about to become a huge inspiration. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I'm going to roll the die and get signs on this. Um, but that's really freaking beautiful, man. But there's whoever you are. I feel you can be a masculine or feminine, any sign, and I'll roll the die in a second. But you got hateration. They know you're an inspiration. You've been inspiring many people already. Just, I don't feel your reach is as big as it's about to get. Um, or maybe you don't have it. Um, maybe you haven't been afforded the opportunities or networking or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, as um, that could have widened your range possibly for some of you is what I'm feeling. But things are about to start changing with 555 energy. Even though you have hateration, you've got people, supporters and lover, um, not lovers, but supporters and followers and positive energy that do want you that know that you have inspired that knows you're an inspiration too just like these people but they want you to grow they want you to help inspiring they want you to keep doing what you're doing basically so even though you have hateration you've got positive uh energy too whoever you are i really love it libra you can be a libra or have Libra in any aspect of your charts or dealing with the Libra. Sagittarius, you can be a Sag, dealing with Sag, Sagittarius. Scorpio, you can be a Scorpio or dealing with Scorpio. Libra, Sag, Scorpio. Gemini, you can be a Gemini, dealing with the Gemini. Libra, Sag, Scorpio, Gemini. Another Sag. And a Cancer. You be a cancer or dealing with a cancer. Let's do one more. Gemini. You plug in how it resonates. Libra, Scorpio, Sides, Gemini, Cancer. You could be those signs or dealing with the sign, those signs over here or dealing with those signs over here or you could be those signs. However, that resonates in applause. Um, let's do one more. Leo. You could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo and a Leo. So you plug in how it resonates. Okay. Pretty good. 
All right. Hope everybody's doing fantastical. I'm not going to make this reading very long. Unless I get a ton of channels. Your <clears throat> message is here. Okay. Promise of the future, number eight, to be a very significant number in one's life. Number eight, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number eight, promise of the future. Spirit message is here. Okay. I heard take it, wholeness and achievement. So we have number 8, 24, 42. Uh, that could be significant number you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 8, 24, 42. Promise of the future. Wholeness. Achievement. You're a huge inspiration, ma'am or sir. Um, you're a huge inspiration. Um, no matter what signs I call out over there or you could have those in your chart or dealing with those signs over here or over here. Or be those signs. How there is an ace and applies. But you definitely are a huge inspiration. But you definitely, and I feel for a lot of you guys, you know you have haters over here. You know you have people in this group. Um, and those kind of people, I just want to add, those kind of people need to do healing, growth, and shadow work on themselves. Because people that don't want people to progress and move forward and better them li their lives, they have a lot of healing, growth, and shadow work to do. And that's just the truth. You should wish best for everybody. Um, I don't care what age, race, ethnicity, or what have you. And that's just the truth. For one, someone is secretly in love with you. They have serious feelings. And for one, you're about to learn this through many series of chain events, your feminine energy. One, your masculine energy. Wow. So there's, a, okay. So at least two of you guys. Um, uh, Taurus is what I just heard. Taurus. Taurus. Just heard Taurus. So maybe you're Taurus. Masculine and Taurus. Somebody's secretly in love with you, Taurus. Or you're secretly in love with somebody, Taurus. I just heard Taurus. So, just now. So, um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I feel, you know, energies can be reversed. So, you can be a Taurus. Master on a fan Taurus is secretly in love with somebody. And you're about to tell them or show them or a combination through many series of chain of events. Or, for one, you could have a Taurus secretly in love with you. And through many series of chain of events, they're about to tell you, so show you, or a combination of both. Like, love, language, energy. I feel guided to get some of these romance angel cards for some reason i might hear in a second um the reading turned a little left but i mean a good love so just saying so however that resonates okay but i feel for some you've got a taurus secretly in love with you for some you are a taurus secretly in love with somebody i mean i did all those signs with the little die but i didn't get taurus but i did hear taurus so that is significant just saying for at least one of you guys um but however that resonates there's at least two of you, one man, one woman, somebody secretly in love with you, whether you're a Taurus or a Taurus is secretly in love with you. Promise of the future, but you're about to learn it through many series of chain events. I think they're about to show you, tell you, or a combination of both. And I'm just being for real. And I wasn't planning on pulling these, otherwise I would have had them nice and organized before I clicked the camera on, but I didn't realize that's how this reading was going to go. So let me get my second edition romance angel cards here and pull them. Because I got the first edition, but they're just not as good. I like the second edition. All right, give me a second.
All right, let's pull one. Life partner? Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. I'm going to get one more. Spirit messages you have to like me. So I heard somebody secretly in love with you for one of you guys. Reaching out. Expect a call or text from your person of interest. That could be the one that's um, secretly in love with you, possibly. This is what we got. Life partner reaching out. I think whoever this is, um, who they're secretly in love with you, ma'am or sir, and somehow Taurus's energy is significant for one of you guys. Um, maybe they're going to end up being your life partner. They haven't told you yet. Um, so I don't think you're together like an actual life partner energy with this person yet, but I think they're, they, hey, come on. I think they want, um, maybe they're thinking that you're going to be their life partner or want you to be their life partner or is picturing you in their life down the line. You're not their life partner yet, ma'am or sir. Just saying, just saying. Um. But reaching out energy, which would make sense because I heard they're going to, um, you're going to learn it. At least for one of you guys, you're going to learn it soon through many series of chain events. So I think they're going to either call or text you poss possibly or reach out. Maybe it's, it says call or text on the card, but it could be any other way. It could be 3D face to face. It could be unexpected meeting in public. It could be a letter. It could be a text, a call, an email. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. So at least two of you, one man, one woman. Wholeness. They know you complete them. Whoa, this is like a re. This is, man, this is deep. We went for inspirational energy to completing people. I mean, I'm just saying, holy crap. This person, whether you're a man or a woman, they know you complete them. Wholeness. You think you um you're like their yin to their yang their um their hamburger to their bun their um salt to their pepper their oil to their vinegar um you complete them like yin and yang energy wow <laughs> i feel for some they're gonna reach out and i am being for real because I think they see you as their life partner or, or maybe want to give it a try to see if you're going to, maybe y'all can, to see if you would fit into their life or they would fit into your life. Um, I think they see you as a prospective life, life partner is what I think. Achievement. Bad boy, get away. Thank you. Man, achievement. There is about to be very significant, positive career achievements happen for both of you soon. This is about to speed things up in a huge way for both of you. There's about to be very significant, positive career achievements happen for both of you soon, ma'am or sir. 
Um, and it's about to speed up the process of, I think, this soon. Because this is going to have to happen before this happens. I mean, this is like for, you know, if y'all start dating. Y'all aren't, whoever this is over here, y'all aren't dating. Um, y'all aren't even dating. I'm just saying. So, you know, this is like for many freaking series of chain events way down the line. But I'm thinking perspective energy here right now in the energetic space. But this has got to happen first. Just saying, just saying. So, but something is about to happen positively for both of your careers. You work in different career sectors. And you work in different career sectors. So, you work, whoever you are, ma'am or sir, if you resonate over here, the one about to reach out to you, I strongly feel going to reach out to you or, or maybe bump into you in public or something or bump into you in private. I don't know. However, this goes down, but y'all work in two completely different career sectors, whatever that is, okay? That could resonate a million different people, uh, ways for a million different people. You don't work in the same career field, for sure, for sure, for sure. But both of you separately in different career fields are about to receive some kind of positive milestone, achievement, or award, or something, something positive, achievement-wise, career stone wise milestone wise regarding career separately because you both work two completely different career fields just saying just saying wow that's beautiful and and that would make sense with the promise of the future and the wholeness energy with the uh, achievement i mean i think it's going to make you feel whole when you achieve some kind of achievement in your career it's going to make them feel whole when they feel uh, achieve something in their career uh, promise of the future, futuristic energy, positive career advancement or achievement or award, or maybe it's relocation or something positive with both of your careers, but you work two completely different career sectors. But buddy, they are thinking about you, I'm telling you, right the freak now. Um, but whoever you are, you're a huge inspiration, huge inspiration. And I heard you have, uh, whatever you do in your career sector, um, whether you work one career sector or two or two plus, because I know some of you guys work two or two plus. And that's just the truth. Like y'all know, I do, um, I work a nurse, I'm a nurse. I've been an RN since 2013. Um, I've been a nurse around my community for about a decade now. Not quite a decade, but about a decade. Um, but I do this as a side business, and I've been doing this for three years. So I technically, I mean, this isn't really a career. It's more a fun little side business for me. But it's still, I still take it very seriously is what I'm saying. So um, you could have two or two plus careers is what I'm trying to say. So whatever that is for you. But it sounds like both of you guys are going in the right direction, whatever career fields those are. But you are a huge inspiration in whatever you do. I feel they might be too. But just know you got some hateration and they probably do too. But you've got people that want you, that support you and love you and want you to succeed too. But just to be real with you, for just maybe newbies or youngies or what have you, what have you, you're always going to have a hateration. That's just true. You're always going to have a hateration. Just say it. I'm sure people know that, but I'm just saying. All right, let me see if I get anything else. The death of a very dirty private investigator is about to become significant to both of you soon. The death of a very dirty private investigator is about to become significant to both of you soon. So, for one of you, one of these possible couples down the line, for one of you possible couples down the line, so there's at least two situations in here, um, Okay, so some kind of dirty private investigator, meaning he's a private, uh, he or she, he or she, um, I didn't hear as a man or woman. Private investigator, man or woman, but they're dirty, meaning they play dirty or have played dirty or break the rules or bend the law or something, something to do with a dirty private investigator, meaning they're not upright. They don't do things the right way or they didn't, but somehow they're about to pass away soon. Um, the death of a dirty private investigator is about to become very significant to one of these possible couple in, um, Situations outline. 
And I feel one of these possible couple situations is a, uh, involves a Taurus energy. And then the signs that I got from the guy. Love you guys. Namaste.